What's up guys, so this is Clash with RLF showing a heartbreaking loss with the tiebreaker against Pioneer Carnitas, Carnitia, sorry. Um, I'm going to show you Ray's attack where he uses the Archer Queen walk in the bottom, this base we've seen 3 starred with Lightnings and um, Earthquake on the Multi-Inferno and then Death Witch, but he's going to bring Hawks as you know Ray but um, I like it because he's successfully able to two-star a Town Hall 10 using his same strategy that he was using as a Town Hall 9, which is sort of rare. Um, he lures the Clan Castle troop, and I think he's going to do well with the new update. I mean, I'm totally excited about the Grand Warden. I don't know if you guys are excited about it, um, but upgrading a Town Hall comes with a lot of headaches, lots of loot and farming just to get it and now that he can't have a farming base I don't know how that's going to go but I really want the ground warden so um, the biggest issue here is time and it's going to be a bigger base and for the queen walk it's going to be better because as Ray pointed out to me it's going to be less compact so less defenses are going to be targeting the archer queen and he's going to have the extra time to walk it so he's actually looking forward to it um, for what he does and so basically he's going to have to take down the archer queen the enemy archer queen before he hogs it um, he is trying to figure out some other strategies and possibly not bring hogs and possibly just do mass golems or air or something else to do complement the uh, archer queen walk or maybe even butchers Witches with all the um, skeletons is going to spawn. It's going to be pretty um, sick. So here he comes with his golems and he drops a wall breaker. Um, the king and one golem goes to the wrong side, which is sort of hard. Um, but he's going to come back and he's going to bring his hogs. So his kill squad has got to take down the town hall here. And he brings his hogs, which is going to take down a bunch of those defenses. And thankfully, he's healing them, and a bunch just went flying. But on one side, the golem actually set up the giant bomb, and the town hall goes down. He's already at 47%. His archer queen is at full strength. He has yet to use her royal um, cloak ability, and she's being attacked, but... Now he's going to have to use her Royal Cloak ability. The biggest problem is time here. So he has 13 seconds remaining. He still has a Golem. He still has some Snipe Team left. And um, he just runs out of time. So great attack by Ray. Um, the second one I was going to show is an awesome attack by Josh. Because this base I've seen on the internet being mass dragon where they take out one of the air defenses and then they just rage through but he doesn't take out the air defense so he has more spells and you can see what he does so he brings three rages and two freezes and a bunch of dragons 12 dragons very elixir heavy and costly he drops all his dragons at once and then he's going to rage in the center as the dragons go and then he's going to freeze the infernos and under the rage they go down pretty quickly and then he brings uh, balloons and a dragon on the other side to keep the dragons from going to the side and to help protect the archer queen and the king there as it is going to um, get the extra percentage points so he's only at 39 percent and the dragons are going down fast, so he's going to make it up because the Barbarian King and the Archer Queen is going to be able to take out most of the thing. Um, and the last dragon just went down. So he used his King's Royal 
uh, Iron Fist ability to get through the wall, and then the Queen is going to be sniping, and it's going to be an easy 50%. So she takes down everything she can within her range, and the King is stuck on a wall, but this is pretty awesome. So it was a base that was not attacked, and I thought he was actually going to do exactly what I've seen on YouTube because he does study the bases and look at other YouTubers and I know that um, the one method that I had seen most commonly was taking down one of the air defenses and then you just take the bones I mean take the dragons in the archer queen unfortunately gets stuck with the llama hound and then it goes down but 58% awesome right so if you see the space I think you should try what um, Josh did because it's a really successful tactic for a pretty much maxed out base if you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. And as always, I really appreciate you watching my video and hope to see you.